Okay, so this is the buff brush. If you are a full coverage person, I probably recommended this brush to you or if you have really mature skin. I love this brush for several different reasons. I very rarely use it. I may place my contour and my brightening color, but if I blend, I'm gonna go back to my 3D, bl 3D brush and blend. But I love the buff brush for under eye because you can tap, it has a two smaller ends. Like you can see a larger and a smaller end. I tap the lighter end and it because it is very dense, the bristles are closer together, it's going to pick up more product. I love to do my under eye because I can just stamp this product up under my eye. And you can see I'm not going all the way up under my eyelashes. I'm just focusing like right here and I'm adding brightness. And then another little trick that I love to do with this is once I've finished my eyelash, my eyelash, <laughs> my eyeshadow, I go in and I take my brightening, brightening shade and then I will pull it up and it will clean up like your lash, your, I mean your, I'm stuck on lash. It will clean up your eyeshadow. And so like, I just, I love this brush to focus like around my eye or you could apply your contour with either end of this. So this brush is really good at placing color. And then if you use this brush to do your whole face, you would stipple, like you would just stipple to soften your lines and you really wouldn't smear and you could, you could do the small little sweeping motion that I was talking about. Um, but this is more of like a stippling brush. And it's a really good brush. You just have to be careful. Um, I don't normally recommend this to people starting out because it is very dense and it picks up a lot of product. But if this brush is something that you're interested in, just message me and I will give you a little more info about it. Um, it is also good for coming down the nose if you want to apply your brightener there. Like this brush, the buff brush, is another great, great brush. All right, so before um, I contour my nose, I wanna talk about this guy. This is the Perfector Sponge. This is amazing. Um, like, I can't say enough about this little guy. Um, of course, it's like any other beauty blender. It's, you know, like it doubles in size once um, you run it under cold water, squeeze all the water out, wring it out in a towel. Um, but this is great because you can go in and you just blot all over. And what it does is it goes and it removes any excess makeup if you got a little heavy handed, which is great starting out because like this little guy just doesn't get enough praise, I feel like. Um, or you can, some people even blend with this, but I love to go in and if it just removes any excess makeup that's sitting on my skin and then it kind of just presses it into your texture, like your fine lines and wrinkles or your pores. So they're not as visible. So the Perfector Sponge is a great tool. Um, I really don't talk about this enough, but I use it all the time. So, but you can see like, it's just picking up excess stuff, but like it has not affected my look. It just may have got some extra makeup that was on top of my skin. All right, so let's talk about contouring the nose really quick and then we'll be done. All right, so the easiest way to contour your nose is with your pinky finger. So I'm gonna dip in my contour color and this is a personal preference. Some people don't like to do it, some people do. I like to do it. All right, so everybody's nose shape is different. So where your bone kind of like rolls over to like the edge of that nasal bone, you're gonna run this dark color down that bone. To me, it's just easy to do it with your finger and you can actually run the dark up into like where your eye socket begins. You don't wanna come on this area down here and place it because if you place dark there, it's going to make your nose look wider than what it is or more wide. So you want to keep your lines close together. Doesn't have to be perfect. because that's the joy of this makeup, this cream foundation. All right, so whichever brush, if you have this brush, I think I use this one on this side of the face, you can soften that, or this one, just soften with your little stippling motion. So 
So you can see I have added shape to my nose. All right, so now I'm gonna wipe what excess contour is there. I'm gonna dip in my brightening shade with my pinky and I'm going to come just down the center. Like I encourage you to try to contour your nose. Some people don't, some people like it. And then you're just softening where those two shades meet. All right, so here's a little trick. If something happens and you get too dark and you get it down your nose too far, tap back into your brightening shade and just lighten that up a little bit. It's not the end of the world. So. Okay, so let's talk if you set with a powder. All right, so you can also take this Perfector sponge and if you got the Vanilla Dust setting powder, um, once it's damp, you can just tap it into there and you can just place the vanilla dust setting powder if you were, if you were an oily person or if you just kind of want to have more of a matte finish. Um, it's not so matte that you're going to take the glow and the, like the dewy look of this makeup away. So you can set with your setting powder. Um, I use the Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics but I also still use the Vanilla Dust. So this is my favorite thing to set um, my makeup with. We do have a powder brush, um, and it has a flat end, which you could do the same thing. You could set, or you could use this in either way, which it's really good too. All right, so after you've set with your powder, if you do, let's talk about illuminators. I take my finger and I tap my illuminator above my cheekbone, I think you can see it the further I turn my head. I love the illuminators. They just give like the little finishing touch. Most people call it a highlighter. Um, we call it illuminator because it just kind of gives you that little glow and that not really a shimmer, but a shimmer, if that makes sense. So that's where your illuminator goes. Some people put it on the tip of their nose. I don't. Some people will tap it down the center of their nose. You can tap some above your cupid's bow. And then, let's see, I'll put a little bit of pink grapefruit on my lips to finish. This is just the Milk Lip Conditioner. Amazing, like amazing. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna tap into pink grapefruit and I'm going to apply a little bit of this pink to my lips because a lip and cheek and you can wear it on your lips and on your cheeks okay so that is the 3d foundation that is the explanation of the brushes that is you know how to put your makeup in your compact if you need anything please reach out to me like don't hesitate if you feel like your color doesn't match or you're not in favor of it please reach out to me it's not the end of the world we can swap that out so I hope that you have a blast learning to put your makeup on. I hope you love this makeup. Actually, I know you will love this makeup as much as I do, and thousands of other women love this makeup. Um, like I said, there's different ways to put your makeup on. You may not stick with this way, this method, but you will find your niche. At least you'll know kind of where everything goes and how to blend it and how to apply. You may not get it right the first time or the second, but usually by the third or fourth, you're a pro. So let me know if you have any questions, if there's anything I can do to help you, if you want to chit chat about makeup, if you want to send me a selfie of your application, I would love to see that because I love when my customers send me a selfie and they say, hey, look, I did my makeup. What do you think? So reach out to me. Let me know how it's going. And thank you so much for, um, for supporting me. Thank you so much for being interested in this makeup. And if there's anything that I can do for you, please let me know.